NBA 2K20 tutorial number 23. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best post patch low buy dribble move. We will also study in detail this move's different forms and when's best to use it. If you enjoyed my tutorials and you would like to see more, make sure you click on the link above for my all 2K20 tutorials playlist where you're going to find more videos to help you improve your game and most importantly, have more fun. With this blow by dribble move, once you get it down, you automatically become a way better player like off rip. Like you'd be unstoppable grinding 1000 wins on triple threat easily. My career or Hall of Fame CPU stands no chance against you when you have this move in your arsenal. And when you take it online, online this is even the most used move for professional 2k players and also the top prospects. This move is the one post patch. And what it really is, is a very simple turbo behind the back with LT held down in a certain direction. And this move really has become the go-to blow by move of the game this year, especially post patch. Like it really is incredibly simple to do, like once you learn it, but the effects are devastating. Like this move's effectiveness currently is by far the best in game and it might be the best blow by move in like all of 2K's history. So to do it, what you have to do is you can stand still to start and then you hold turbo. And as the handler dribbles the ball to his hip, you want to flick the right stick diagonally down away from the ball. And as you do that at the same time, you want to hold the left stick diagonally up left. In this instance, everything is going to the left, like right stick is being flicked diagonally down left while left stick is being pushed up and then held diagonally up left because the ball is on the right hand. If you do that at the same time, you're going to get this dribble animation. Right there, the handler is going to go behind the back and he's going to extend out, goes wide, one dribble and he hits his turbo right away out of it. Like this turbo behind the back is especially deadly if you go baseline. That's not go out of bounds. Look at that boost coming out of that one dribble going baseline. That's deadly. Now there's an even better version. What you want to do is you want to do a hezzy escape before you do that turbo behind the back. So what you do is you're still holding turbo. You're going to flick the right stick to the left. This time the ball hand is the ball is on the left hand. You do that. You're going to get this escape hesitation, hop out to the left same side as ball hand as the ball is on the hip or above it flick the right stick diagonally down right and then hold the left stick diagonally upright both done at the same time away from ball hand so it's right side now you do that he hits the behind the back out of the hezzy and he goes strong and he goes fast now that is a very deadly move and this is devastating because Harden never puts the ball down after the hezzy watch as I hezzy out by holding turbo and flicking my right stick to the right here, watch as the ball comes up, see how it's like above Harden's hip and it's going towards his hip. I'm, what I'm doing now is this instance, I'm also pushing the left stick diagonally up left and at the same time flicking the right stick diagonally down left away from ball hand. I do that, he goes right into it behind the back. But the ball never touched the ground. It's just like it was from the hip above the shoulder and then behind the back right away. Look at how fast I am. That's insane. So this is the baseline version of it. You hezzy out. You can see my circle has become dotted. That means I triggered out the hezzy, which in this case is a whole turbo and flick the right stick to the side, to the left, ball hand. And as the ball comes up, I hop out. And now as it's in on the hip at this area, I'm going to still hold on to the turbo, but now I'm going to flick the right stick diagonally down right, and at the same time, push and hold the left stick diagonally upright. Do that, it goes to behind the back out of the hezzy. That's pretty deadly. So here I'm doing the standstill behind the back, stop into the hezzy behind the back, and you can chain these all together, you can do them back to back. Back to back is pretty much when you run out of stamina, but you can't do back to back. So stand still, into hezzy, hezzy back into the behind the back. That is pretty deadly. Now, and to be safe, sometimes you can also add in the L2 to protect ball before the dribble move. So you can see in these clips, I'm just holding on to L2, and then I'm gonna let go and do the dribble move. So to do the behind the back and do any kind of hop step, play up finish, a hop step, dunk finish I want. Just make sure though, 
you hold L2, but right before you're doing the move, you let go, then you do the hezzy, then you do the behind the back. You can do it on a hezzy or a standstill, that's up to you. But before doing the move, you can hold L2 just to protect it, then you get out of it, and you can even go into a step back out of it. Very, very good move. Now, let's have a top 2K Pro Am backcourt show us this move in game which is very exciting. Shout out to our original Malik professional 2K player for the New York Knicks and also Rag, one of the top point guard prospects in the game. So in these clips, you can see uh, Rag go baseline behind the back. He's trying to hit the screens. He does the setup move. And then in this instance, you see the right side is open, so he doesn't delay. He goes from standstill into the turbo behind the back, into the open area, and he shoots it right away. Very fast and very balanced, right? So this move is very good if you want to attack open space. Same thing here again. He heads to the left. There comes the screen. He goes behind the back on the sideline. Never goes out of bounds. Full speed, turbo, does the fade, hits the pop, man. It's beautiful work. Here, you can also see him doing the behind the back into a ball screen. So he goes to the middle, sets it up, goes left, understanding the screen is on the right, comes right back with the turbo behind the back, going into the screen, back to the middle, gets himself that separation, no hesitation, great shot, only 16% covered, excellent release. And in this instance, you can see professional player Malik for the New York Knicks going away from the screen with it. He sees the screen coming on the left, he goes left a little, and then he goes right into the turbo behind the back, going back to the middle after going right so that's nasty right there that's deadly deadly so in these clips you can see malik do it in a slip screen situations so he goes to the middle goes left comes to a standstill so he's doing it at a standstill he does the behind the back with the turbo extends out pushes himself up readjusts his back to the other side and then he shoots the mid-range jumper that's beautiful work so here's another slip screen malik comes to a pause like a slight Spit second standstill, goes into his behind the back, shakes off the defender because he bites the wrong way as you see there, gets enough space, finds the elbow jumper, hits it. Here you can see Rag go from a standstill behind the back into an escape behind the back. So the possession starts, the screen is coming, he does one behind the back, turbo does nothing, comes to an escape, sets the defense up, hits him with another behind the back, back to back, gets enough space, hits another pull up jumper from deep with excellent release. And in this instance, you can see uh, Malik using it just to find a passing angle. So he gets into the free throw circle area, not much space, he hits the behind the back, shifts the defense, finds a passing lane for himself, make the big man step up, then hits the big man, and he finishes the layup, all created by that behind the back move once again. Same thing, Malik is on the wing, he's scanning the defense, the screen is coming, he hits it early, there's nothing at the elbow, very very crowded area, he's got three defenders around him, but he does the move, gets open, finds a passing lane, that's awesome right there. That move has become the top move that top players use online in pro app. So the turbo behind the back, you can attack baseline and it's very deadly, especially if you do it away from the screen. My career, Hall of Fame, CPU, take your pick. Uh, you add in the hezzy to the turbo behind the back as the screen is set up, then you go away from it, you're gonna find a lot of room, even if there is a man in the corner. Like here's the James Harden Hezzy version. James Harden is ex excellent for this move, especially deadly if you need to grind like domination or something. Like you do this all day from the side, attack with that Hezzy, you'll either find an open lane to drive or make the big man step up and you're gonna find a lot of clean rows. So get into Harden, get to this 45 degree angle, call for the screen, Hezzy into it, away from it behind the back and just go. You don't even need to clear the corner. This is so good, you don't even need to clear the corner. Like that says something. You don't even need to run an overload because this move is so fast and it's so tight. Like, and when you need to, obviously, especially playing on Hall of Fame, don't forget to use L2 to protect the ball because as you set this up, it could get dangerous. You're waiting for the screen. You're trying to get the right hang angle. That's great. Uh, driving angle so hold l2 to set up the move then hit them with it out of it and even in the middle you can get into an iso get them shifted hit them with some euro layups take your pick you are gonna eat you can see me do it with jamal murray here just protect the ball as the screen is coming hide it from westbrook hit him with the hezzy go behind the back dip him i even got an and one so jamal murray not as good as a finisher but the move still works harder than an excellent finisher so gary harris is close protect the ball hezzy out go behind the back Tag that angle right there and finish strong. And for those of you having trouble grinding triple threat in my team, and since you have learned this move today, like this move 
on triple threat my team just for grinding purposes like it can't be stopped like i'm 11 for 13 for 22 points with just bob sir right here like you take this on the triple threat i know you gotta get your thousand wins with that dominique wilkins double tap l1 to get the pass screen away action you're not gonna go pass and screen away you're just using that pass screen away for this isolation spacing you get up top Bring it to the middle, double tap L1, you're gonna get pass and screen away spacing and then just hit them with this hezzy behind the back move. Like even with someone like a big point guard like Bob Sura, like plus 80 handling, plus 80 speed with ball, with like 85 driving dunk, you're good to go. So whatever player can do that, do it. A quick first step, obviously the match helps. So hit him with the hezzy, go behind the back, double tap L1, you get that isolation spacing because the other two players will always go to the wing. Just don't pass and screen away. Just use that spacing. Hit them with the hezzy. Hit them with the behind the back. Like, triple threat for the 1,000 win grind offline on your own. This can't be stopped. Like, I can score 95% of my baskets doing this with one guy. Like, the other two guys don't even need to do anything. So I can get, like, really good defenders or something that just shoots. So I can play better defense on the other end. This will help you grind your 1,000 wins. I guarantee it. Like, you should not lose a game. Because you, you would literally cannot miss with this. Like, they can't guard it. And I have Bob Sir right here because I just started my team like three days ago. Like, if you got like a, any kind of like Ruby or Amethyst point guard card, it's over. So take that to triple threat to get yourself a thousand wins. But obviously, practice makes perfect. So uh, go to play now, go to 2KU. Just try to do this move from the 45 degree angle. From the middle, it's incredibly easy. But because our sticks are on absolute anyways, it's like the stick flicks are the same, but from an angle, it's a little bit harder because you just naturally kind of lean sometimes. So practice this going baseline both ways. And like when you're ready, try to double tap, like try to double move like this. That's the final version. Get that down. Take it to wherever you need to take this move, okay? Ooh, between the legs. <laughs> like, because, like I said earlier, once you have this, you just automatically a better player than you were, like, two, like I don't know, five seconds ago before you know how to do this. Post-patch, they have kind of changed the controls of the move. It's actually even better, if anything, because you can kind of control, like, you can escape out of it better because now you get turbo down back, turbo right stick down back. This is just nasty. And it's the go-to move of all top players program online. Like this is their escape pro bike go-to dribble move for most of them. Do they add in some elite moves in between to change the angles? Of course. But at the end of the day, this is the devastating move. This is the go-to move. This is the one you do when you want to get away from the defense. Everything you do before it is a setup. But this is the one you pull out when you go for the kill. And post patch, this is by far the best. All right. So if you guys got any questions about the move, uh, you can ask me questions in the comment section. Shout out to Bucks GG for the sponsorship and support as always. And yes, once again, I will speak to you guys again very soon.